Hello everyone, it's Z here. Today my school is going to be a for school history project. First, we arrived at the metro station in Chandemax, which has a historical record as it's installed with an antique stained glass window in 1968 through the sponsorship of the government of Quebec. Although I barely know anything about old Montreal, I know it's a beautiful city. Through this tour, I finally got to know it better. This is the building of Notre Dame de Bon Secours, a very old chapel founded in 1655 by Marguerite Bourgeois. In the 19th century, the chapel came to be a pilgrimage site for the sailors who arrived in the old port of Montreal. The chapel now also houses the Marguerite Bourgeois Museum, dedicated to the life of Saint Marguerite Bourgeois and to the early history of Montreal and the chapel site. Nearby here, we can see a big ferris wheel. And further away, we can also see the Jacques Cartier Bridge. By the way, did you know that the roads of Vieux-Port, Montreal are not actually cemented, they're covered in cobblestones. Next is the Marché Bon Secours. It was inaugurated in 1847. It is acknowledged as one of Canada's 10 finest heritage buildings and has become an essential stop on any visit to Old Montreal. Interesting fact is that François Bigot, the last intendant of New France, lived there from 1749 until his return to France in 1760. past the Court of Appeal of Quebec. Then we will end up in front of the Tourist Information Center. Also in front of the Montreal City Hall, there is the Nelson's Column. Nelson's Column is about the man who defeated Napoleon, which is dedicated to the memory of Amir Horatio Nelson following his death at the Battle of Trafalgar. The Battle of Trafalgar happened on October 21st, 1805, when they fall off the Franco-Spanish force of 33 ships on the coast of Spain. Victory of the Battle of Trafalgar ensured that Napoleon would never invade Britain. We're at the uh, group pop right now. And then this is, oh, uh, no, I'm gonna, yeah, it's okay. We're on, um, we're going to Maison Sir, 
<laughs> George Etienne Cartier. <laughs> and then um, we're going to like the Saint Jean Baptiste place. We pop is fun. Yeah, hello. Hello, I'm exhausted. We're all Hi. exhausted. Hi. <laughs> uh, oh my god, my, my video mom. evidence. I'm like near these places. Currently, I'm. But there's a Ben and Jerry's like right there. I hope you just saw it. So, yeah. that I could learn history outside of a classroom because it could get boring but it was hard to get everything done in under one hour. However, we tried our best finding everything in that time period but we had fun. If anyone is interested in visiting old Montreal, the places around Marché Bon Secours, they're very interesting and hold a lot of meaning back in the days, even nowadays. I really recommend people visiting Vierpaf. That way, you can learn more about Canada and Quebec history, but not from the boring book version, lol. Not only will you learn about the history of Montreal, it's basically about the whole history of Canada, as the French people first came here, then moved towards other parts of Canada. I hope you guys are interested in visiting Montreal. Please do. My friends and I really enjoyed it, so you should plan on coming to RuPaul. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, comment down below and subscribe to support me and my city. See ya!